to A Positive Parenting with Astrology. I'm your host and resident Gemini, Maria Rieger, and this week's Astro Parenting Tip is about Gemini. I'm a Gemini sun, as many of you know. My son has a Gemini moon, and my sister also has a Gemini moon, so this is an energy I know a lot about. As we know, Gemini is a very intellectual energy, and Gemini moon people especially, they love to articulate, verbally articulate uh, their every thought they have almost every thought they have they they kind of think out loud and a lot of the things that they verbally state are not necessarily their truth sometimes they're like testing out thoughts and ideas so it kind of can drive people crazy because they're constantly articulating things and you may wonder they, they may be you may think that they're changing their mind or being hypocritical but it's just that they're kind of testing out thoughts not everything that comes out of their mouth is 100% their truth. So what I'm going to share with you today is applicable to Gemini Sun and Gemini Moon placements. So one thing I like to do with my Gemini Moon Sun is to kind of ask him hypothetical what if questions. So the Gemini people in general, especially Gemini Moon people, bond through conversation. And your Gemini children, you may find that they're constantly talking to you. And that's great because you want your kids to be open with you and talk to you about everything. And the what if questions like, for example, what would your ideal school look like? What would your ideal car look like? What would your ideal house look like? What would you think if this happened? Or if your friend said this, what would you think? And these are meant to be kind of low key questions. So nothing like too heavy or deep. But the point of them, the point of the questions is that you're getting your Gemini, Gemini child to think about things, but without having the pressure of making like a snap decision. These are hypothetical what if questions. So they don't have to make a decision right now. They have the luxury of taking time to think and ponder and they love to do that. And they, they're not, because there's no like right or wrong answer they're not concerned that they need to tell the parent something that they think the parent wants to hear. You know, Gemini kids don't like conflict and pressure. And a lot of the times they'll tell the parent what they think the parent wants to hear because they don't, you know, want any judgment, obviously. So, but in the case of these kind of what if questions, if there's no right or wrong answer, there's no pressure to think of something that the parent wants them to he wants to hear or wants them, you know, to think. They're not trying to get to the conclusion the parent wants. They're just trying to get to their own conclusion. So it's a very powerful thing to do because you're allowing the Gemini child to exercise something they're naturally adept at, which is think and consider something from all angles. There's no pressure that they have to have make a decision now. And there's no pressure as far as what decision they reach. It's just like a fun exercise. And you'll find that this can be kind of the starting point for a lot of very interesting conversations with your Gemini child and they will appreciate that because Gemini children bond through sharing intellectual pursuits. They love that. Okay. So, and they're very curious about life. So if you kind of bring in other considerations, have you thought about this or what about this? They'll enjoy thinking about that and coming up with their own ideas and conclusions and kind of as an offshoot of that, Gemini's are like eternally curious about everything. So anything you can do to kind of you know, feed that curiosity is a very powerful thing. And ultimately over time, this will lead to a bunch of great conversations, which will in turn lead to you strengthening your con your relationship with your Gemini child. And that is ultimately what we want because the strong parent-child bond is the basis of basically everything else, including a more peaceful household. So that is what I wanted to talk about with you today. If you would like this video and subscribe to my channel for more free content, that will be great. And you can also check out my book on Gemini children, which is available at all major retailers and as an audiobook on Audible. And you can get a free sample by clicking on the link in the video description. So thank you for listening. I'll be back soon.